Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the advanced brush settings work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the shape dynamics settings work. Let's get started. For this example, I'll be using one of Photoshop's default brushes in the hard elliptical brush. But I'm going to adjust the spacing from 1% to 50%, that way we can see the changes that we make a little bit easier. If you go into the Shape Dynamics panel, Photoshop automatically turns it on. You can uncheck this box to turn it off at any time. The first thing that you'll see is the size jitter. This setting allows you to automate the size of your brush as you paint. If I paint without size jitter, you'll notice that everything is the same size. But if I turn size jitter up to 100%, when I paint, each element of my brush stroke can be a different size. Control drop down menus are found on many of the advanced brush settings. They let you vary your brush strokes in various ways like with the pen pressure of a graphics tablet. If you set the size control to something like pen pressure and turn off the jittering, when I paint with a tablet you'll see that it starts out small and the harder that I press the bigger my brush stroke gets. If you don't have a graphics tablet you can also set this to fade. That way when I paint it'll automatically go from big to small based on the specified number of steps. So since it's set to 25 my strokes go from big to small in 25 steps. If I turn this up to about 200, you'll notice that my stroke more gradually gets smaller as I paint. Minimum diameter allows you to set the minimum size of your brush to keep it from getting too thin as you paint. That way I can turn the size jitter up, but leave my minimum diameter to about 50%. Then my brush will never get any smaller than 50% of the original size. Angle jitter is similar to size jitter except that it changes the angle of your brush tip as you paint rather than the size. If I turn the angle jitter all the way up to 100%, you can see that when I paint, my brush tip changes direction. Since it's at 100%, my brush tip will change somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees while I paint. Next you'll see roundness jitter. This allows you to randomize the roundness of your brush as you paint. If I turn this up to 100%, you'll notice that when I paint, some of my brush strokes are more round than others. You can also set the minimum roundness underneath that, just in case you don't want your brush getting too flat. At the very bottom you'll see Flip X and Flip Y Jitter. If you turn on Flip X Jitter, Photoshop will randomly flip your brush tip as you paint. The Brush Projection checkbox is used only with graphics tablets, so we'll cover that in another series. You can combine any or all of these settings to get some pretty unique looking brushes. There's a lot of things you can do with just one advanced brush settings panel, so imagine all the things that are possible by combining more than one. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Brushes Advanced Features series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.